All right, this one's gonna be on the Mutt sidebar. It's a patch for Mutt to give you a sidebar, basically. So let's open up to here. And you can see on the left side, that is your sidebar. And some of the default hotkeys, let me show you here, is, well, not the default. This is the bindings that I use. So B is to toggle it on and off. So this is normally how Mutt will look like. But if you toggle it on and off, you can see your sidebar here. As far as for navigation to different mailboxes, you hit uh, Control N to go next, Control P to go previous. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, if you want to do like a scroll up, scroll down, or page up, page down kind of thing, you do a Control D to go down, Control U to go up, and if you want to open that mailbox or switch to it, um, you have to hit Control O, right, and that will switch to that mailbox. So pretty simple and you still you know read your emails from here not that hard All right, so so on and so forth Anything else? Oh, yeah, if you want to well, this is how it looks like when you open up multiple um, Accounts, so let's open another one here uh, We'll open like my second Gmail account here And it's just gonna pile on top of it. So you see at the bottom here um, you have one mail, oh, is that one inbox here, right? But if you open another one, you'll see that there's another uh, inbox here. So it will just, you know, pile on top of each other. If you have like more than uh, one, then it'll just keep going down and down. It's kind of inconvenience. I don't think there's a way to collapse it, like, you know, Gmail 1, Gmail 2, or something like that. Maybe if someone knows, let me know. But that's really what I want. But this is how it looks like when you have multiple you know accounts open it's just uh, a list on top of another list on top of another list anyways that's really it so I'll show you the configurations here um, probably you do this here so let's open up our might RC and really all you gotta do in here let me make this off is basically you have you know these are your settings here right so you have our mailbox. Uh, this one is really optional. They'll say my mailbox. And if you want it by default to be visible, yes. Uh, the width of it, so on and so forth. This is the color that it has. Uh, if you have like mail in it, it will be like yellow and stuff like that. And these are the hotkeys I talked about. You know, the next, previous, open, scroll up, scroll down. And this is to toggle the visibility. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the configurations really that all you need in there uh, other stuff that I didn't talk about last time this one was pretty cool too on uh, this pager index line and this one is if you had um, let me show you an example here if you were reading an email say for example this one here uh, you open the email you can still read it uh, in here this is your body so if I hit space or something I can still read it but if I want to go to the next one I can see one second. Uh, if I go to the next one, you can see that it says you know one, two, three, four, five here, or whatever. Uh, this thing will still be open, and you can see like which uh, mail that you're reading on. Because by default, uh, it, it was really inconvenient because you don't know which uh, mail number you're on, and so on and so forth. Now with this one, you can see that uh, I can be reading an email or something, and I will know exactly which email I'm reading. Uh, and how many I have left or how many I'm looking forward to now right now by default it shows you five at a time or something like that that's because we set it to uh, Was that a pager index line you go six? I'm not sure why you, you when you put like a number it will minus one from it So if you put six, it'll be five only so that's why we have five uh, showing only in here, right? Uh, this portion here, so that's how that works Anyways, I'll post you the uh, configuration part um, in the description below. Pretty much it for the sidebar um, that they have. Now, you do need to install the patch. So I don't know if they have it in your repositories. But the version I'm using is actually a fork of MUT that actually have the sidebar built in. But there's actually different versions of this. So let me show you that here. So the version I'm using is called MUTKZ, and this one has supports for the sidebar, of course, 
but they actually have support for other features that I don't know how to use yet. Uh, they do have different sidebar packages. Like this one is just, I think, just the sidebar only, right? So whatever uh, patch version you're using, uh, if they have the sidebar in it, the configuration should be the same or maybe a little bit different. Who knows? But that's it for the sidebar if you want to use it with your Mutt email client. That's it for this one.